For this part of the video, we're going to derive the expression for the entropy of a discretized probability distribution. For example, student grade distribution in terms of the number of uh, possible permutations of n objects, with the number of i objects being similar, where i is a distinguishing feature, example, the grade. So we can say that we have we have a thousand students, and then we can say that we also have um, from 1 to 10 is the example of the grade distribution. And now what we want to do with this is we wanted to have a possible permutations of n objects versus the number of students and the number of i objects being similar. So from there we can see that if we were able to derive an expression for entropy, we have the number of total number of students over i equals equal 1 to the product summation of i equals to k, which is 10, and the total number of students in a bin. And this is going to be factorial. Now, if we were able to do this in a Python uh, simulation, then you can see that It'd be very hard to put it in because of the amount of factorials, a thousand factorials. So we're going to condense it and we're going to use a Sterling approximation to be able to have a better approximation of this um, entropy to get the max entropy. So what the Sterling approximation is just an approximation for factorials. We're going to use the natural log of n factorial is equal to n ln of n minus n. So we're going to write that down. So ln of n factorial equals ln, ln of n minus n. So now I'm going to go here, and I can finally go on full screen. Where is that at? How do you go full screen on here? Uh. View, full screen. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we can try to get the value of the entropy. So, we're going to take the natural log of this. So, using the Stirling uh, approximation, we're going to say the, the natural log of n i factorial um, oh my bad of n factorial minus since we're you we're changing it to the Sterling approximation we can say this as a summation of the natural log of n i factorial now using this Sterling approximation we can plug in the values so we can say that n ln of n minus n, which is the total number of students, minus the summation of n i, which is the total number of uh, the number of students, minus the natural log of n i minus n i. So as we can see from the from just looking at the equation, we can cancel something out. We can cancel n, with the total number of students, and the uh, summation of the number of students. So now, with this equation, we also we can also rewrite it as n ln of n minus the summation of n i ln of n i. Now, looking at this equation, we can also cancel something again out so we can cancel this out ln and ln of n by just looking at this term uh, approximation as a um, constant and then from there we are left with the max entropy that we're trying to find is minus the number of students over the 
natural log of the number of students. And now if we were, if we want to do something with this equation, we can see that the probability, we can, probability of i over the number of students over the total number of students. And from rearranging this equation, we can we can get that the total number of the students multiplied by the probability of the uh, number of i objects is equal to an i, which is the number of students. And we can plug this into this equation. And then we can get n, the total number of students multiplied by the and I ln of n the total number of students times multiplied by that. From looking at this equation, we can see that we can take out n from the equation, and then we can also we can also um, write the the approximation of we can separate these two values, ln of n minus ln of the probability. Looking at this, we can also we can also distribute this across this equation. We can distribute it. I'm trying to distribute it right now. Ln of the probability. So from looking at this equation, we can see that the we can see that we can essentially find the entropy for the distribution. As the ln of n, we can we know that this cancels out. Ln of n is up here, and ln of n, and we know it's minus n, so it just ends up canceling out. So what we're really just left with in our final answer is the total number of students with the summation of the probability and multiplied by the natural log of the probability of objects. And from there, we're able to find the um, there we're able to find what we are looking for, which was the expression for entropy of a probability distribution in terms of probability.